Well guys, it is that type of video. This fucking masterpiece of a film. I did so many, I talked about it so many. This is gonna be a short video. I just wanna say, remembering uh, Man of Steel, we are eight years since this film came out, June 14th, 2013. I, I'm just gonna talk about some of the things that really hold up today. Uh, Henry Cavill's performance, all the performances, you knew they were gonna hold up real good today. Now, if you know why my eyes, I'm looking, I'm getting used to watching myself on the screen. I think that's pretty cool. But I do wanna say that, um, so if it gets annoying, like you see my eyes going in that direction, that's it. But I do wanna say something, guys, real quick. The background, yeah, I'm gonna fuck with it a lot. There's some shit I really wanna do to it to make it look pretty sick and get this centered completely. But I do wanna say something about this film. Um, the VFX are a standout. They still hold up eight years later. Who would have thought? This film looks incredible. The visual effects, the CGI, Zack Snyder knows how to do it. We know the visuals are gonna look incredible. The score with Hans Zimmer and Junkie XL. If you didn't know, Junkie XL was part of it as well. Fucking beautiful. The performance is beautiful. The story, beautiful. This is just a remembering Man of Steel. Remembering Man of Steel eight years later. It is such an incredible film. If you don't own this on 4K, what the fuck are you honestly doing with your life? Like, for real. But all the performances, Incredibles. This is, this is when D WB and DC were on the right track before uh, Batman v Superman, before they got their dirty fingers into it. Because Nolan kept all the executives out of this film and let Zack do his complete vision and look what happened. See, this is the thing I do want to say that I believe personally. So, Man of Steel, Zack had his whole complete vision of it. Batman v Superman, compromise. Even the Ultimate Edition, just a little bit, was compromised. The Snyder Cut, look how good that is doing. So, overall, guys, this is just, I'm looking at it. God, I, I watched it a couple weeks ago and I just realized one of the most emotional scenes that actually got me to tear up was when Jonathan Kent, Kevin, uh, Kevin Costner's character does die with the tornado. The score, the motion, the impact, really, uh, it's beautiful. The first flight sequence, the battle in Metropolis, battle in Smallville, guys, you name it, everything. The opening sequence on fucking Krypton, and beautiful. This film really holds up eight years later, guys. What else is there to say about Man of Steel? But guys, let me know your thoughts below on Man of Steel. We are eight years later. Who would have fucking thought we'd be still talking about this film? But guys, let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.